Doesn't matter what day it is. Doesn't matter if it's a Monday, a Wednesday, a Friday, a Saturday, a Sunday, any day of week, there's always a lot of breaking news. Come on. All right, the very first thing I want to talk about is Toy Story 5. That's right, the fifth one is coming. We have discussed this a few times. They were saying 2026 is coming out, but now we have official date now. This will be releasing on June 19th, 2026. So the summer of 2026, you got a friend of me one more time, and I hope that the whole cast comes back, and I think they will. I mean, come on, guys, why would they not? But officially, it is coming back for one more round, and it's probably not the last one. I don't I don't think it will be, because you know, Pixar, Disney, they want to keep making more of these things they do so well they could enter in the third one i thought there was a good spot there the fourth one was pretty good too but they must have a good idea to come back for a fifth one they had to dominate the box office just like kong and godzilla have been dominating the box office and it's surprising to me in a lot of ways because again i didn't expect this movie to do so well and i did see it opening weekend we talked about that before uh, my buddy uh, i went from work uh, nick we went to work and saw it. it was a lot of fun and it's not you know it's not cinematic it's like gold but it is fun it's fun for the for everybody out there like Kong and Godzilla beating ass. Uh, I, I had a great time. There. I know a lot of you had a great time with it too. So it's numbers are showing one hundred and thirty six thousand uh, dollars, one hundred thirty six million domestically, two hundred and twenty six million overseas for a grand total right now. Three hundred and sixty two million almost almost 363 oh, million dollars i know a lot of fucking money pep star and for me it's great I, it's great to see this there will be more of course we were waiting to see if they would do more based on this box office and now we know there is more godzilla and kong moving forward that is true but something else that is delayed 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 is moana that's right dwayne the rock johnson came forward and said guys this is going to be delayed big time because well it just is. <laughs> it's been happening left and right. So it was supposed to come out June 27, 2025. Now it's pushed a whole year to, the, to July 10th, 2026. Pretty freaking far if you ask me. So I'm kind of surprised about that. But overall, The Rock, you know, he's got to lay the smack down on somebody now that he's not in the wrestling ring anymore. Uh, I had one more topic here. I don't know where it went. Uh, it must have floated away into the abyss somewhere. Uh, oh, yeah, here it is. Because The Rock was laying the smack down this past weekend at WrestleMania. And the top, I, I, lost, I lost an image, but WrestleMania went down, everybody. And the Rock was there, and he was grappling across a bunch of people on Peacock. But it was big numbers on Peacock. Their biggest, highest streaming project ever on Peacock. And streaming in total for a live sporting event. Well, a sports entertainment event event so good for the rock good for wwe and i'm a big wrestling fan from back in the day so it's good to see the rock back in the ring helping out and kicking ass ever since the whole tko thing went down so good for him because wrestling's wrestling's big out there people love it people love the bad guys and the rock has been a big heel and heels 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 has found a home everybody over at netflix that's right netflix has saved heels and it's coming back over there for the first two seasons with an option for a third season so you might get more heels but it comes down to contracts right now because a lot of these actors have moved on since the cancellation and will they come back now Stephen Amell let alone he's going on to Suits LA so he might not be able to do it but I'm guessing he'll want to make this happen this is pride and joy so uh well uh, we still have the Moana cartoon we do and there's a sequel to that coming out too but with a live action one is delayed Queen it's very much delayed and uh I want to see if Heels does well I'm guessing they'll do a third season but we'll have to wait and see because you know that's how it goes they got the option. Netflix has the money. Make it happen. But you know what? A lot of people right now are saying, who are going to be heels? I'm talking about Disney Plus because now they are cracking down on the password sharing starting this June. That's when Bob Iger said he's going to start putting it out there. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. We're going to start stopping this. We're, we're stopping. We're going to stop the password sh this password sharing. And then he said by September, they're all overseas. And then by September, it'll be everywhere. So at that point, you won't be able to share your passwords, much like Netflix has been doing, where it becomes like the household whole thing. Add an extra amount of money to get more people on it and then check in to be like, am I traveling? I'm not traveling. So they're trying to make more money. Of course, the mouse uh -huh, needs more money. So we'll have to see what happens with Disney Plus. Heels, haven't really watched that. Uh, Colonel Guile, yeah, Peppy, what you gonna do? But Colonel Guile, it's about like a bunch of wrestling heels. So heels are the bad guys in wrestling. So it's about them and uh, the indie circuit a lot. So I know a lot of people like it. Kay Jacob, who's been here a few times over IPA sessions, loves it so much. It's fun. Uh, but honestly, Stars had it for a while and canceled it. But, you know, Stephen Amell wanted to do more and he's getting a chance to do more. But there will not be any more of Curb Your Enthusiasm because it has ended officially. And, you know, the finals finale was out there. People have been talking about 
you know, Jerry Seinfeld being on there and having a great ending, but also people are saying, well, was it officially done? Why will it be done? Well, it's going to be done because, well, you're getting too old. Getting too old. Larry David came forward and said he's not going to be shooting a whole series in his 80s. He goes, yeah, 50s, 60s, mid-70s, but now in my 80s, I don't really want to be doing that. So that's why Curb will be officially ending. We're not getting any more. And he's looking at his life being like, this is so much time. It's a fun show. So I know a lot of fans are bummed about this, but unfortunately, all good things come to an end. And it's heartbreaking sometimes. Just like Sasha Barrett Cohen and Isla Fisher's divorce going through. I mean, honestly, since 2010, they've been married and they have they have kids, they have three kids, and they came forward and they said uh, after a long tennis match lasting over 20 years, we're finally putting our rackets down. And in 2023, we have jointly filed to end our marriage. And, you know, they're funny people. And honestly, they've been together for a long time. It sucks to see this. I mean, Fisher at 48, Sasha Baron Cohen at 52. Uh, it's, it's tough. It's really tough. But I know the two will be okay. And they came forward and they really, you know, tries to tell everybody it's going to be okay. Please give us our privacy at this time. So HBO Curb Your Enthusiasm will get Emmy nominations. You're right, Kevin. They, they will. They definitely will. Everything is getting canceled. You're right, Queen. Everything is getting canceled. But somebody else that might become... <laughs> Peppy loves Queen. Peppy loves Queen. Uh, but, you know, things are getting canceled, but some stuff is coming back, Queen. Some stuff and someone might be Robert Downey Jr. as Iron Man. We talked about this a million times, but RBJ came forward and he said, he goes, guys, honestly, asked again straightforward, would he come back to be Iron Man? He said, you know, honestly, he said, happily, happily to come back, happily. It's just too integral and part of my DNA. It's, it's who I am. It's part of who I am. And that role chose me. And I will never say ever, Never say never to this, but it comes down to Kevin Feige. And Kevin Feige did come forward and say that this is it. We don't want to touch it again, but there have been a lot of rumors. A lot of stuff going on behind closed doors, and it sounds like he will be coming back. If you ask me, we'll have to wait and see. But to Marvel, somebody that will definitely, definitely not be coming back, but I think got a pretty good deal is Jonathan Majors one more time. Because Jonathan Majors went and actually got his final sentencing for his domestic abuse, and he was there's no jail time. He could have served up to a year in jail, but they're going to give him a year, a year of domestic violence treatment programs taking place here in LA. We'll have to be in person uh, dealing with uh, batters and an intervention program here in LA. And if he doesn't show up, he could serve up to a year in, in jail if he doesn't come to it. But kind of a slap on the wrist, but kind of, you know, I mean, kind of bad for him. I mean, his career's done at Marvel. People are saying online, he'll come back, he'll come back, he'll come back. Uh, he, he won't come back, guys. Uh, Tony Stark did die. He did die, but they're talking about with the uh, Secret Wars. Because Secret Wars, they take, you know, if you haven't read that, if Sean was here, because it's is hump day, Sean should be here, but it's just too late for him. He's on the East Coast. Uh, but in Secret Wars, you get all these different variants from all across the multiverse. Smackdown on Battleworld. And so they're saying he'd be a variation of him to fight against all the villains to see who will actually conquer and who will rise and who will save the universe so that's his that's his door to come back in so we'll have to see what happens we'll have to see what happens what's up edward hyde good to see, good to see you man good to see him anyways a lot of breaking news everybody a lot of breaking news